scoreboard. That's what yeah, I want to yeah, see. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I want to see. I think that, you know, one thing that's going to be sick is, you know, I don't think you see Pitt represented nearly enough, man. Not nearly enough. And no, I'm actually really excited to see what this character is going to be able to do. Yeah. You know, I really want to see Urs show us, man. Kind of remind the people. I think people just forgot that this character is quite solid. Yeah, I think the thing is, uh, a lot of people kind of look at Pitt and say, well, he's a solid character, but when you like compare him to some of like, the top tiers, he doesn't really have anything that's just like super explosive and you know, he can really just manipulate to like, kind of steal out mm -hmm. stocks. So he kind of, I want to say, kind of fell under the radar a little bit, but you have, oh, nice, you're not going to be the stock, but good awareness. But when you have the best, you know, representative up hit here, um, again, like, you'll be your mind of exactly what this character is. Absolutely. Okay, then this best right there. Uh, the the blue team definitely. Oh wow, nice yeah. catch. No, yeah, very very. Actually, I've not uh, seen that uh, doubles follow up from Courtney. Oh yeah. So. But uh, yeah, so far the blue team really hasn't been able to maintain stage control. Kind of from the start of the match, they've been pinned to either the center, yep. pinned in by the red team, or just both pinned in the, uh, both sides of the stage, not really able to follow up. Yeah. Cash, these amount of damage right here. Have uh, Irvin come on the stage. Ooh. Slice and dice? No, not going to happen. Might not be intentional, but a uh, pretty good save there coming out from uh, Peach. No, no, absolutely. Oh, it's going to be either though on the final stock. Both members of the blue team yet to take a stock here. Might be in danger of potential six stock. Yeah, eventually. Oh. Dash attacks just enough, and the we kill? get the cleanup okay. on Homer Curie. Right. Both stocks finally taking over the red team, but again, uh, really big uphill battle. As you can see, the 2v1s have been pretty consistent from the red team. They have not really seen that same type of like team synergy from the blue team so far. No, absolutely. And I mean, that's kind of the center that we're going to assume here. Obviously, uh, Comer Curry and Earth are going to be the ones uh, favored to win this. Uh, beautiful save right there. So can, nice. And wow, yeah, Millie runs is, over and hits. Yep, <laughs> that is a hit confirmed. Yes. Um, I'll cancel down there and finish and touch 5% guaranteed. Yep. Really good uh, clean double kill there coming out from Cormier Kiri. They were all smiles like, oh man, you know, first time team, but hey, it's like, it's like we're doing well, man. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're looking pretty nice. We're not too bad, right? <laughs> we're in a good place. Absolutely good place. Yeah. Really good stuff on that. Yeah, uh, uh, as you would come to expect, again, two yeah. really stellar teams players, not just in Japan, but abroad as well. Mm -hmm. um, even if they're not uh, like stag partners or anything, they both understand doubles at such a high level that they can just kind of get in the swing of things and uh, play really well off the bat. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really wonder what the loose team strategy is here. Honestly, they just didn't really get opportunity to really work together. Um, not only are Komuro Kiri and Earth really good doubles players, they're also really stellar singles players. So if you're trying to force like a two one v ones against them, that's definitely not the best course to act. Yeah, definitely not. All right, but we're gonna oh. go. Okay, Earth in actually bringing out too. the dark pit. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Even after you know how solid they performed in the first game with the Corn Cloud. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit more um, used to this character since it is his main before he started picking up the Corn. And uh, pay a little bit more of a stable character to use the team as well. So. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Oh, good drift away with the up B to avoid that uh, finishing touch. 70% definitely would have been a free stock. See, oh, I, I love that. Just like, just passing them all off, make sure they get all on the other side of the stage so they can get some uh, solid ledge play here. And hit them with another one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I love that, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> Why not, man? That move has is so far-reaching, so it's always going to be those hot to go, man, is that stitch? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was actually kind of scared for Cormier oh, yeah. there. Okay. Oh, I like the choice of uh, the side B there from Earth to just pressure the shield mm -hmm. and get an easy cross-up. Nice. Of the yeah, follow-up. Okay, that's stuff you want to see in teams from Peach. If your partner just kind of sets up the situation, don't be afraid to go for it. Yeah, yeah. Especially since your partner can cover your landing, too. Absolutely. Yeah, really good stuff there by Shalas. Because especially after initially they had gone for a 
a team combo, but you saw from her DI upwards, they were able, they missed the, immediately afterwards, you saw her actually go for a chase. So I love that kind of extension. Then knowing that, yes, maybe you may drop a combo here and there, but you still gotta push that pressure, push that advantage that you may have. Exactly. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah, the wind up there, just waiting in position. Like, yeah, yeah you already know where. Yeah, he just like, you know, he just like threw that in the back of the kitchen and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> chef, I gotta do what I do. Yeah, that's what you call trust, man. Yep. Very uh, brilliant follow up there. Now I'm starting to see uh, maybe the switch to Dark Pit here have a little bit easier throws a combo to those, uh, those limit kills. Mm, yeah, no, in absolutely. comparison to Corrin. And that's definitely, you know, a big strength of having a Cloud as a partner in teams. But, ooh, the oh, save, please? Oh. No, you're up. He doesn't have a hitbox. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, definitely uh, definitely a misplay there. Yeah. Lack of judgment. I had a free up air or maybe even, like, a, a nair, too. Mm -hmm. I think. Might have, was that also a team kill as well? Yeah, that was unfortunate. Rough CD. Yeah. Now you're in a 2v1. Okay, let's see what Shao's gonna do here, though. Yeah, as soon as the crowd gets motivated, things are gonna be very wow. rough. Slice oh, dice? Man. No, not yet. Yeah, watch my airspace. Okay, okay. The ledge here. nice recovery, but yeah, that's yeah. an easy back throw. And that is your life. Yep. Switch to dark hit there. Much more stable throws. They're just easy confirmation in the finishing touch, or you know, as we saw the cross slash. Good, good idea to switch. Even though they had you know, really solid game one with the corn cloud, mm -hmm. much easier to get those team conversions with that. Yeah, definitely true. Uh, we saw a lot of good stuff, I feel, that in terms of what Shalice was doing. Shalice was getting really good chases. There's 